Hey everyone, it's Erin Flitta here and I am here doing a, another video, another 10 types video today. I am doing, that's the end of it, <laughs> the 10 types of rating trackers. So there's the standard ones that you see a lot, um, the shelves with books on them and then you fill in the books and then the book with pages where you write a list on pages, but I'm gonna go through a couple different ones with you. So the first type of tracker I'm gonna show you is the challenges tracker. So I have two different kinds here, so two different spreads. Uh, the first one I have is an A to Z reading challenge where the book title from A to Z, and I think this is kind of like an annual challenge. It's only 26 books, but you know, a lot of people have lives and it's, kind of hard to uh, make time for reading. So this is pretty good as an annual challenge to go through the book titles from A to Z, especially once you get into the harder ones like Y and um, X and things like that, it can get a bit harder. Um, so I just have two columns here, well, three technically, from A to Z, the book title slash series, and then the author. And of course, um, you'll see a common thread in all of these that I'm going to reference Harry Potter because of course that is my favorite series. So the A to Z reading challenge is one type. By the way, for these uh, spreads, I used a Tombow Feud. I used a Mile Liner in the gray, and I used a Muji 0.38 gel pen. So just in case you were wondering, and then if you see other colors, those are other different kind of mild liners, or they are from the Stardust collection of the Jelly Roll. So A to Z reading challenge is the first that I have to show you. The second challenge is 52 books in 52 weeks. And I decided to show it in a couple different ways where you set out the parameters, the seven days for each segment, um, with mild liners and of course you can I chose different blues because blue reminds me of winter and I am in winter in January and you can do like different types of pinks and reds and things in February etc. There's the parameters where it is the um, seven days and then if you wanted to mark off how long it took you to read those days, you can just use a jelly roll or some other kind of colored pen and mark in, I read one book for one, two, three, four days and mark that. And then you can also keep a list of books that you read on the side or on another spread next to this if you're doing it this way. So I really like using this year in pixels for a lot of different types of spreads, especially if you're doing annual challenges like this, 52 books in 52 weeks. So that is another spread for you. The third and fourth spreads are informational spreads. So if you're doing a book review where you have the title author and you give it a ranking and then have a comment section over on the side, of course you can shift this one way or another. But of course, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, I am saying I would recommend this, although it is not a five star in my very humble opinion. It is not a five star book, so I put 4.5 because I did a half a star there. So doing a book review where you can um, say your favorite thing about it, I love the protagonist or something like that, and have all of your comments and rankings along with the book. Then the fourth spread I have is for a book club type spread. If you are doing um, one book for October 2019, for example, and weeks one, you are supposed to read one th chapters one through five, weeks two, six through 12, et cetera, et cetera. Then you can um, just kind of journal your thoughts about the book. I know that a lot of book clubs kind of do like different questions associated with those chapters and you talk about you know back in English class this is where I'm getting my information from because I don't currently do a book club but back in English club where class where you talk about um what is significant in the chapter and you can talk about different meaningful things about those parts of the chapters 
um, what you envision is going to happen next, things like that. And of course, for a book that you haven't read versus a book that you've read. So something about book club and uh, adding some journaling elements to your spreads. The fifth tracker I have is, of course, by chapter. So if I'm reading the entire Harry Potter series, I'm going to mark it off by chapter. So if I've only read chapters one and two of the Sorcerer's Stone, I would mark off chapters one and two. You can do a fun design like this, or you can do, um, you can highlight it with a mild liner, things like that, and just mark through once you've read all of those chapters and then moved on to the next book. So that is a super simple, super easy one. And of course, if you're doing like an entire series, you can mark it um, at the beginning of your bullet journal or something like that. The next one is I have by number of pages. So if you're less concerned about the books that you have read and you would rather put down how many pages you have read that day, there is a very simple line graph that you can do. I know that most people aren't going to read 700 pages in a day because that's like the entire like Harry Potter part six book. So although to be honest, I pretty much did that in a day when it first came out. But um, doing a simple uh, line graph and then writing in the number of pages you read for that. So this is typically done on a on a monthly basis, but you can do it over a longer period of time. For example, if you wanted to switch this year in pixels to a um, number of pages read, you can do zero to 200 and you can color code that way and then do each block um, based on the number of pages you read in a day. So that's an example of by number of pages. The next one I have is with decoration. So if you wanna add some decoration, you can add a uh, little doodles of something important about that part of the book. So I have the Sorcerer's Stone here, uh, toilet for the Chamber of Secrets, although I like mess up the whole shading. So um, don't pay attention to that. But uh, toilet for the Chamber of Secrets, I have Azkaban for Prisoner of Azkaban, et cetera, et cetera. And then when you finish this, you can like either add like a drop shadow or something like that to mark that you have completed. Or you can, of course, um, put a little bullet to the side and mark off, or you can put the number one next to it if that's the first book you read in this uh, whole decorative spread, then you can do that as well. So there's a couple of different areas, or you can do the whole design and then only do the color once you have uh, finished reading the book, that's another. So the next one I have is from Bingo, and this particular Bingo board is from Mama Teaches which you can find on the website mamateaches.com, I believe. Uh, I found it on Pinterest. So I put different items for different things and then highlighted once that um, item was completed. And the whole point is you're trying to get a blackout. You can go for different types of bingos, things like that. So I did read a book located in a different country, meaning the location in the book was in a different country. So if I'm reading Harry Potter, that is obviously in the United Kingdom, and I do not live in the United Kingdom, so I would mark that off. Or there's other types of ones like read a biography, read a book about science, read a book about a uh, read a book by a male author, by a female author, read a book about a president, etc. So I will link this bingo board down below in the description box so that you guys can take a look. And there is actually a free printable on that website if you didn't want to do all of this situation. Although if you are in an archer and olive, these are four by four squares with a box in between. The next one I have is an annual, which is based on nightowl.bookworm. It's an Instagram account, which I, again, will link below. Um, they did it in kind of box format. I did it in a line graph format where um, one line, one bar was the number of books read in a month, and the other bar was for number of pages read in a month. So for example, if I read three page or three books in January, that would be 
this number three over here. If I read um, like 1600 pages or something, then I could highlight that. And then I also used glitter and you can see the kind of the slashes there, I think. Yeah, you can see the slashes there where I did more than uh, 1200 pages for that month. So I used the glitter to mark off more pages that I read. And then you can have a little synopsis at the bottom here, 52 books and um, 18,754 pages. I just made those numbers up. But on nightowl.bookworm, there's also like a breakdown in number of or percentage of female authors, um, how long the books were, by pages, where the authors were from, what country they were from, things like that. So there's a huge statistical breakdown of their annual tracker. And I will put that picture up here and go give some love to nightowl.bookworm for that idea. And the very last page I did is a library card. You can find these all over Etsy and things like that, where you have the name of the library card. I just used um, this Jaden's Apple, what's it called, stencil, and I just traced around it. It actually fit pretty well for this page. And then putting in the borrower's name, I also put like a little I promise to maintain these books in great condition because a lot of library cards have something like that, that, you know, try to keep in good condition, things like that. And then a checkout, check-in, and book and author. So I like the checkout and check-in because it shows you how long you read that book for and things like that. So a library card is another fun way to do it because I don't think we go to the library enough anymore, y'all. <laughs> I think uh, the poor library misses us. So I thought it would be fun to include a library book. You can also use this spread for books that you actually get from the library where you can track how many books you got from the library, you know, supporting your local city, uh, county, depending on where you live and how your um, library system is set up. So that would be a good idea for that too. So that is all I have for you today for the 10 types of rating trackers. I have the two challenges here, the two informational spreads, including a book club spread uh, by chapter or by number of pages read, the decorative and the bingo board, and then the annual tracker and then the library card. So I hope that you guys got a lot out of this video and you can see yourselves using one of these reading trackers. If you can't look up the hashtag um, reading tracker on Instagram or you can look it up on Pinterest, uh, bullet journal reading tracker and you can find a lot of great stuff on those two trackers. So, or on those two sources. So I hope you guys Got a lot out of this video. I really enjoyed doing these 10 types videos. If you have another idea for another 10 type of video, please let me know in the comments below and I will be responding and putting any suggestions on my next, um, well, on my video board of videos to do. So thank you guys for that. Remember in November, I am doing a plan my day series where you can watch me plan every single day in my blackout notebook. So. Tune in for that, and I will see you next time. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that kind of jazz. I will see you later. Bye, everyone.